Boom, what's going on everyone? I want to do a quick little video update here on shopping cart. Uh, so not too much to report in this video today. I was able to get the, um, the total of all the items in the cart. Uh, so I'll give you a live demo on that. If I go to my shop now section, I apologize. The site is still doesn't look pretty great so far, but just trying to get all the logic down first and then I can do styling later. So I select the product here. Okay, I select the quantity, select two of those and add to the cart. And I can get a, a running total of all the items. So I'm in my checkout page. Again, the styling's not there yet. I'm getting the logic down. Oops, sorry, a little itch there. But if you go down uh, two items, uh, it's $44.60. Um, if I want to go back again and add some more items, it will also calculate that total. So I go back to my Shop Now page. Let's say I want this jacket here. I go to its individual page. I can select the quantity of one and add to cart. And also, I go to my checkout page where it displays my grand total, and boom, it updates my total there just like that. Uh, so that's what I got going on there. I was also able to get the remove button working. So let's say I want to remove this jacket here, boom, it also calculates back the total there. Uh, if I want to remove uh, this last little shirt here I got, boom, I can also do that, and now my total is zero. So that's pretty cool there. The biggest thing um, I'm going to be working on next. So if I go to the shop now section again, um, kind of questioning whether I want to have this quantity selector here or just on its own individual page. Um, if I want to keep this, uh, these increment buttons that are on the input field or if I want to use plus or minus buttons. I've seen pe mostly people use plus or minus buttons, so I'm going to try and find a way to uh, work that into my logic here. Uh, but for now, I'm just kind of using this. Uh, boom, add to cart. And also as well, kind of goes into the checkout page as well. Um, once you get the checkout page, you also have the option to increase uh, the quantity, like so, plus or minus. I don't think it's best practice for me to use this here, like that, using like the increment buttons within the input, using a separate plus or minus buttons on the outside of it. That's what I'm gonna try and do there. And the next bit, so if I increase the quantity, it will like automatically adjust the uh, the total there. It will automatically adjust it for you. Um, notice how it doesn't remove, but I got to get it working. So when I increase the quantity of it, it's going to adjust the price accordingly. So that's what I got going on there. Um, yeah, a little confused on how to get those plus and minus buttons working with that input field there. But it's probably for tomorrow. My brain is honestly pretty fried right now. That's a little update for today and give another update tomorrow. Um, just like doing these updates here on the project. I like doing them each day so it keeps me accountable, keeps me focused, keeps me motivated, and gets me excited to get on the video and kind of report back what I accomplished that day. And it's fun to look back at it every once in a while. And hopefully maybe you guys will kind of learn something through this too. Um, with the delete button, I guess I'll close out saying that whenever you get stuck on your projects here, you can look back at previous projects to see how you did certain things. So I look back like on my CV app when I did that, that resume generator project, and I figured out how to like, how was I removing items then? And it was exactly how I did it here. So if I go back to my shopping cart and I show you the code, it's exactly the same as how I did it in um, uh, CV app. So let's say I go to my uh, checkout component here and I go down, got my remove button here, or sorry, my handle delete function within the remove button, calls that function here. So boom, passes in the item that we're currently looping through. And then we have another uh, another loop, another filter, which takes in an item from that uh, cart items. And so if it does not match, uh, we're going to delete it. And that's pretty much how exactly how I got it from the React docs. If you look up how to delete items uh, from an array in React, you'll literally find this exact snippet of code right here using the filter method. So boom, hey, if you ever get confused, sometimes look back at your previous projects. And they can give you a lot of tips and tricks and um or it just might be uh, not even just tips and tricks but might even be the exact code that will help solve your problem in this project here so yeah look back at previous projects when you get stuck that's how i'll close out the video there so until next time guys peace keep working hard